Okay, so on this episode of Just Miss Garage, let's talk about setting lash and or preload on hydraulic lifters. So before we get into those details, just a couple of things we want to talk about. If you uh, talk to 10 different mechanics, they'll probably give you 10 different ways of setting lash on an engine. And none of those are wrong, but they do require certain knowledge, like you turn it 90 degrees and then set these four, and then you turn it 90 degrees, set the other four. And it's complex and you have to have reference material in front of you. If you were on a desert island, and you had to set lash on a small block Chevy, we can show you how to do this using a simple technique that is very simple to re and easy to remember. So before we get into that though, let's talk a little bit about the difference between preload and lash. Preload on a, is used on a hydraulic camshaft, either a flat tappet or a roller, and it preloads the lifter to a certain depth. And generally that'll be a quarter to maybe a half of a turn. On lash is for mechanical camshafts, and that would be, again, either flat tappet or roller. And the lash is actually the clearance between the rocker arm and the valve tip. And you'll use a, uh, you'll use a, 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 a feeler gauge to set that. So we'll go through all those details uh, in, and get started. All right, so we've got our engine all set up now. So right away you might say, well, you know, these all look the same, so how, do I, how can I tell exhaust from intake? Well, it's actually pretty simple. This is an exhaust port right here. Lines up with the exhaust valve. Intake valve lines up with the intake port. Now on a small block Chevy, they switch. So you got to keep track of which ones you're looking at. But the way these valves open and close will kind of also give you that indication. So in the first place, what we're going to do is we're going to run through exhaust opening, intake closing. And it's a little bit confusing, but it makes sense if you think about it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to rotate this engine in the clockwise position and we're going to see right away the exhaust valve starts open. So we stop there. The exhaust valve is now opening on the opening side of this lobe. But that means that on the intake side, that lifter is on the base circle of the camshaft. So before we get started, here's the, here's the sequence. Here's the key. E-O-I-C. And all you have to remember is exhaust opening, intake closing. And the way this works is when you crank the engine over in the normal direction and, and you see the exhaust valve begin to open. This is the exhaust side, starts to open. We're gonna set the intake side. If we continue to turn, then you'll see, now we have overlap. Intake is now on the, intake is now on the closing side. Now we set the exhaust. It's really that simple. So we've got our engine position now. We're about to roll through the process. Exhaust opening, first part of it. So when we set lash on a mechanical camshaft, what we're actually doing is measuring between the roller follower and the valve tip, not the retainer. So we're actually measuring this clearance between the tip of the valve and, and the rocker arm follower. So what we'll do is position our wrench and our Allen lock and we'll set this at the proper lash and then the hot tick is you want this it's a it's a feel portion and then tighten this up and then pull it in tight so you've got just the right amount of feel so now we've set the intake now we'll continue in the same direction rotate the engine you can see the exhaust is already full lift comes back up now we're in valve overlap this is closing this is opening we get, so exhaust opening, intake closing, come around to the closing side, roughly about right there. Now we can set the exhaust side. Roughly about right there, pull that tight. Just touch the wrench in a little bit to establish the right feel. And we've set a pair of valves. Okay, so now for hydraulic preload, we've already opened the exhaust side up, so now we're gonna set the intake side. And what you're gonna do is bring your fingers in here and touch the push rod, and you can feel it's, it's loose because this is loose. And what we're looking for is to establish zero lash. This is kind of critical because especially some lifters will easily preload. In other words, that little piston will push down really easily. So you have to be very precise lifting up and down and at one point you'll feel it tighten up, right there is zero lash. Once we're at zero lash, we just take the wrench, stick it on the, on the adjuster, and roughly eighth to a quarter of a turn. 
and then you're set. Okay, so now we've set the first pair of valves. We have we only have seven more to get, seven more pairs to go. What you want, what I like to do is run through these in sequence. You will end up turning the engine over a couple of more times than you would if you tried to keep track of firing order. But all you're going to do is get confused. I get confused easy enough as it is, so I like to just follow sequentially front to back on both sides. So in this case, uh, we're turning the engine over. We're already intake closing, so we would just continue to turn this thing until exhaust opens. And now we're ready to set this pair. Now we're ready to set the intakes up. So run through each, each pair of valves for each cylinder, button this up, come around to the other side, do the other side, and then you're ready to go. And that's all there is to it, really. So all you have to really remember is exhaust opening, intake closing, and you're there.